what's up welcome to my channel welcome to today's video thank you so much for clicking on today's video and today we are going to be doing a weekend vlog i have a little bit going on i'll be going to a concert later tonight and i have to start getting ready in about 10 or so minutes so i'm gonna try and make this intro a little quick i did try an attempt to film a weekly vlog earlier this week because i did have a lot going on i went to another concert earlier it was a five sauce concert and it was a lot of fun and then I also took my sister out to dinner because it's her 30th birthday in a couple of days and that was one of the only days that I would have been able to see her so glad we were able to do that and today I am going to be going to the Jonas Brothers concert here in Toronto. The plans here weren't exactly last minute but we are sitting in the 500 section and they were still 70 bucks which I can't tell these days if that's cheap or not, but I know we're still gonna have a great time and I'm excited. As I was saying, I do have to get ready in about 10 minutes or so tonight and for the rest of today in this vlog, it's not gonna be super chill, but tomorrow, Sunday, I'm gonna treat as kind of like a reset day because this week was a lot busier than usual and I fell off track with work and everything like that. And I didn't plan as well as I thought I did. So tomorrow it's Sunday, that's how days of the week work. And I'm gonna try my absolute best to get back into a bit of a work schedule at least until school starts in two weeks and then hopefully from there I can kind of get the ball rolling on getting more content out starting up the podcast again all that fun stuff but until then I'm going to be focusing on getting ready and having fun concert and before we move on at all make sure to go like and subscribe and comment on this video maybe some fun weekend plans that you've had recently or any events that you've gone to maybe concerts what have you even your current read my current read is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue <laughs> by V.E. Schwab. It's a historical fantasy where the main character is essentially immortal because she made a deal with the devil on her wedding day back in the 1700s, which is the time that she's originally from. And the deal is basically that she can live forever until she is done living. And the condition is that, you know, no one remembers her name or who she is and seemingly never will until she meets one person who for whatever reason that has not been explained at the point that I'm at in the book someone remembers her name. I'm liking it so far. I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be a lot of romance in this book but I can tell there's going to be some connection between Addie the main character and this other character that we are recently introduced to about 100 pages into the book which is where I'm at now. I'm also surprisingly on a slightly separate note this isn't like a huge spoiler or anything but there is some bi rep in this book which is obviously really great queer rep which I was not expecting but it was a nice surprise and as far as writing goes I have honestly not been doing a lot of it I've been doing a lot of like outlining and I even have an idea that I'm going to write during NaNoWriMo probably and I'll be doing a lot of brainstorming in October hopefully I have time for that this year because school kind of got in the way last year as it kind of always has over the past few attempts that I've made at doing NaNoWriMo which if you don't know stands for National Novel Writing Month and you have to write well, don't, you don't have to, but you're supposed to write at least 50,000 words of an original manuscript uh, that you haven't started yet. You're supposed to start on November 1st and hopefully get to 50k words by the end of the month. And I have mi failed miserably since the very beginning when I tried to uh, win it in the past. So we've got all that out of the way. Now let me show you the outfit that I'm going to wear to the concert, hopefully if it's not too hot. So this is what I plan on wearing to the concert. I have this sort of sage or olive green, I'm not entirely sure, but this green bomber jacket paired with this white concert tee I got a while ago. I cut off the sleeves to make it into a tank top just because it was more comfortable to wear it that way with these black yoga pants. Yes, yoga pants, not jeans. I hate wearing jeans. These are more comfortable and will be more breathable, especially when I first leave the apartment today. It's probably going to be a little warmer out, so I'll probably do better with uh, more breathable material than <laughs> denim anyway. And by the time we leave the concert later, it's going to be a little bit cooler. It's going to be nighttime. So I think this is a good outfit to wear because I don't have to wear the jacket at first either, but just again, when I'm leaving the concert, this is going to be a nice thing to cover up with. And then I have the nice hang top underneath and it'll be a good time. And then I'll show you what it looks like on me later.
just got back from the concert and I realized that I forgot to show you guys my outfit on. So here's the green jacket with the white top, with the black pants and the white converse. I think it looks okay. And also there's my makeup. It matches the jacket and everything. Don't mind the eyeliner on my hand. I use that to test out the eyeliner before I put it on just because sometimes it doesn't work. And I am sweating so much. It wasn't as cold as I was hoping, but what was I supposed to expect? It is currently Sunday, August 20th. It is five o'clock. I meant to start uh, vlogging for today earlier, but I slept in. I didn't get to bed until like three o'clock in the morning. So, you know, what else were we going to expect? Today, I wanted to treat a sort of a reset day for the oncoming week starts because tomorrow being Monday, I have to get back into the swing of things. This past week was really busy. I had a lot of social engagements going on, which I'm glad for, don't get me wrong, but mentally it was still very exhausting. And all of that has kind of led to me just needing a day where I kind of have a little bit of a self-care situation going on. I'm going to do my nails. Yes, they're press-ons. I don't get acrylics because they're expensive and I'm waiting until maybe next month to try this new way of getting your nails professionally done. It's not with acrylics, it's with like gel and like kind of like press-ons like these, but with them being professionally done, you can expect that they'll last longer. But with that being said, I do use this nail glue. Technically, it's not even nail glue, it's nail bond. I got it off of Amazon. It lasts at least two weeks with the exception of one or two nails. That's just kind of how it happens. But these are the supplies that I'm using, plus some alcohol swabs and paper towel. Not that I'm sure you guys care all that much, but I figured I'd start the day off with doing something that I love, which is getting my nails done. So after that, I think I'm just going to watch some YouTube because for me, that is also self-care. It's just watching videos from creators that I really love. And then we'll move on from there and see where the night takes us. I'm literally just going to do whatever I feel like doing. And I'm not going to force myself into doing any one certain activity. Whereas once the week starts tomorrow, Tomorrow, I'm going to try and get back into the groove of things, as I mentioned, and try to get actual work done for my business. I might do a little bit of planning for the upcoming week this week because it is also not just a self-care day, but like a reset day. Uh, but beyond that, I plan on not doing any like admin related things. I'm trying not to do that on weekends, especially with the school coming up. I need to prioritize my time a little bit differently. And of course, getting my classwork done when the time comes for that. Oh, and before we move on to anything else, look at this shirt. Golden Girls is my favorite show of all time. And my mother-in-law got me this shirt that says, stay classy. Anyway, I'm pretty sure this uh, shirt is from the 80s. It's Golden Girls branded merch. It's not like it's like it's from like Etsy or something. Cause I, I do see Etsy related like Golden Girls merch sometimes. Anyway, I'm gonna get my nails done and then I'll show you guys the results. Y'all look, here the nails. For press-ons, I think they look phenomenal. However, if I did pay 60 bucks for this type of manicure, like if you look closely, you can kind of see like the bubbles and stuff underneath where the glue didn't quite like bond to my nail. I'd be pissed, but since I did it myself, you know. But from far away, they look great. There's like French tips with black instead of white. I love that style. I think when slash if I ever go to get my nails professionally done, this is the kind of style I'll probably do the most. I'd love to get something done for like Halloween or something like that. Like with the holidays coming up, that's probably what I'll go for. My only other problem, and I guess I have this problem with doing press-ons, but the reason why I have been so put off by getting my nails professionally done is I guess depending on what materials you use, you end up having to go to monthly appointments or sometimes bi-weekly appointments and you still have to spend like 60 bucks like every time you go. And I just, I need to save that money for my business and like other things, which I want to point out that if you are someone who pays to get your nails done that often that like I'm hating on, I'm definitely not saying that you shouldn't do that. It's your prerogative, your money, you do what you want with it and your nails for that matter, if that's something you're able to do, then by all means do so. I just, I just can't. Um, so yeah, the rest of today, I'm just going to take things slow and mentally prepare for the next few weeks because they are also going to be busy, but not in the way that last week was. Like I'm gonna be at this desk 
at school doing work and I just need to enjoy this time off while I still can and hope that my mind can kind of reset. Now it is time for dinner. I'm literally just gonna put some fries in the air fryer and that's all I'm gonna really do. I haven't been super hungry, so I just wanna put something in my stomach because that way I can say I've eaten something and that way I can kind of go on with the rest of my evening. I hate cooking. Normally if Brock is off work, he'll make more complicated dinners which he says aren't complicated but I'm someone who doesn't cook that often so complicated to me point being I am going to myself dinner another thing with having ADHD is simply just forgetting to eat and make food so the fact that I'm remembering in the first place is amazing <laughs> we're already winning here so yeah I don't know what was going on with the air fryer for a second there but it just kept like turning off I know like it has to preheat to some extent, right? But at least twice or three times, I went to go turn it on and put the fries in and then it'd be on for like a minute or so and then it would turn off. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. I'm hoping we do not need a new air fryer because that would not help with my self-care day. I really should just cut my losses because I've tried to film this clip so, so many times, but I just can't quit. But I think my camera will soon because the battery's at like 25%. I was just trying to say that I'm gonna sit down on this couch, listen to music and zone out because I just need it, okay? If that wasn't already obvious. In case you wanted to know, I use these headphones from this brand called One Audio, not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I will leave a link to the headphones on Amazon. My point is that these headphones are pretty good. They have ANC mode, which is like noise canceling, transparency mode, and then I guess the mode where you don't have a mode on. So you're just like in all the surround sound. Whereas at least with transparency mode, you get a little bit of filtering going on so you don't get any messiness going on if that makes sense so if you have like the air conditioning going on it's not as like in your ear i guess and it's not as annoying so yeah highly recommend these with that being said i am 100 or so pages in to the invisible life of Addie larue by ve schwab i am enjoying it so far would i recommend it yes and no she has a very blink and you'll miss it kind of writing style and she puts a lot of detail and description into every single passage that you come across in this book and if you're someone like me who kind of has an issue related to ADHD in my case where you sometimes find yourself accidentally skimming over like sentences and stuff just because your brain kind of checks out you can't really do that with a book like this because it'll like it just won't make sense if, even a few pages later and that's no fault of the e. Schwab's that's completely just my brain being the way that it is and me constantly needing to take breaks because my brain just like kind of checks out I've started a new medication my diagnosis with ADHD actually is pretty recent and I'm still learning how to handle it but that is not to say that when I don't like a book or I'm having trouble getting through a book that it's inherently a bad book most of the time when I don't like a book it's because I'm just having trouble getting through and it's related to probably to my attention deficit issues. Uh, so with that being said, I think The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is a good book and I would recommend it to anyone who likes historical fantasy fiction. It is, I think, a new adult or adult historical fiction. So, you know, keep that in mind if you plan on picking it up or if you're going to let like a younger person pick it up. Um, so far, there haven't been any like super duper graphic scenes. It deals with still some heavy subjects and even as like a 23 year old, I'm still kind of like, Ooh, uh, you know, gets a little deep, a little dark. So yeah, I'm gonna go listen to music and charge this camera because I've been trying to film this for way too long. Talk to you later.
So I decided to put a little bit of ice cream on the strawberries. I feel like this is gonna taste really good. I originally meant for this to be a healthy snack, but I opened the freezer, saw the ice cream, was like, gotta add that. Shocker, it's been a while since I last updated you. I, of course, forgot to enter this vlog, so that's why I'm doing now. But actually, before I do that, I did want to update you on some minorish things. One of which being that I did film a video since I last spoke to you, but it's not completed. It's supposed to be an iPad mini unboxing plus an what's on my iPad video, but the second part, the what's on my iPad part, has not been filmed yet. I'm still customizing it. Plus I had a mishap while filming the first time around because I was putting a new screen protector on my new iPad and I'm notoriously awful at putting screen protectors on devices in general. So this time was no different. I thought it would be, I was incorrect. So I got a magnetic screen protector, which by the way, if you wanna see the iPad, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna give more information in that video, which should hopefully be out before this video is so that way I can link it down below. If it's not linked down below, stay tuned and I'll try to remember to do so. Because the last like 20 minutes of the original footage was just me trying to get this stupid uh, screen protector on, it didn't make sense to keep it in. So then now I have to like add in more content because right now all I have is five minutes of edited footage. And to me, that's like not enough or maybe it is, I don't know. For the sake of like, a tech related video, I think those are okay to be less than six minutes long because sometimes people just wanna watch you like set up the iPad or whatever device you're setting up uh, just for the sake of knowing how to do it themselves. And so this is where I'm kind of having a dilemma. Like, do I go through the pains of filming another part for the video when, you know, I'm dealing with construction around my building, renovations inside and filming videos has been such a pain this these past couple of weeks because of all of that. And in the meantime of me trying to film the rest of that video, trying to get this one up and running, I have nothing up going up on my channel. And then that's more time where I'm not uploading and it's a whole thing. I'm just trying to like prioritize where possible because if I don't, then I lose out on getting on the algorithm's good side, right? And there's the fact that I haven't like customized the iPad a whole lot yet. And I have to do that before I film the rest of the video. And because it's been so rainy and gloomy out, the lighting is just not in my favor today. So I might just take a break from trying to film anything after I finish filming this part and then take the rest of the day to get more admin things related done. Maybe work on some designs for the clothing line I wanna launch and see where things go from there because I don't really have much of a choice given everything that I just told you about. Aside from that though, I did cut my bangs. They were getting way too long and hard to style because with my hair, at least with the bangs situation that I had, when they got too long, they didn't like curl up the way they do now. So it just made sense to cut them. Now that I've updated you on my hair, I think that is everything that I have to talk about. I've advanced a few pages into The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I'm still enjoying it. It's just so much has been going on lately. If that wasn't obvious, uh, so reading just hasn't been a priority. I did also start The Nanny by Lana Ferguson because it has a much lighter story behind it. It was easier to pick up the other night than say a story that's as dark and heavy as Addie LaRue. And I made it a chapter or two into that. So we'll see. I'm a mood reader. So who knows when I'll pick up Addie LaRue again. It, it is an enjoyable story. Don't get me wrong, just, you know, as I've been saying a million times in this vlog, it's just, it takes a lot out of me to read it. And it's just a sad book. Make sure to like, subscribe, and to do whatever the hell you want in life. Once again, I am Laura Van Taylor. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. Make sure to comment down below. Have you been to any concerts lately? Have you gotten any new tech that you're excited to use during the school year or for work? Um, what are your current reads? Comment down below anything you feel like I should know about. I'd love to hear from you. And again, thank you so much for watching. Bye.